So hi everyone, welcome to you all in my other video. Today we have one of our students recently he passed this CAPS exam. So he is an Indian pharmacist living in Dubai. We will see his journey, how he passed this exam, how hard it is his exam, and what the strategies he employed and how many hours he study. And we can ask him this exam is hard or easy because a lot of you think that this exam is very, very tough and impossible to pass this exam. And uh, we will also ask him the Sudhakar basically he is in Dubai. So what is the scenario there? And uh, because many of you want to migrate even Dubai also, so we can ask him about the Dubai as well. Okay. So uh, welcome Sudhakar. How are you? Hi, sir. Good evening. I'm good, sir. How are you, sir? Today? I'm good. So can you please give us your brief introduction about yourself? Yeah, my name is Sudhakar. I'm from India, Telangana state. I did my bachelor's in 2012 and then I completed my uh, M-Pharmacy uh, from Malaradi University in 2014. Okay. After that, uh, I moved to uh, Dubai. Uh, I wrote my DHA exam and I'm a medical director here in one of the pharmacy. And uh, that's it about myself. Okay. So basically, you know, uh, Sudhakar have a, like a 10 year study gap because he studied Bachelor of Pharmacy in 2012. Now the 2023 uh, basically he passed the exam. More than 10 years study gap because many of you think that there is a gap. I have five year gap, four year gap. I forgot everything. Can I pass the exam? You know, this is one of the example for you. Sudhakar also have more than 10 year uh, study gap and he still he passed the exam in his first attempt. Okay, so Dakar, uh, can you please uh, give us your strategy? How many hours you study per day apart from the live lecture? So, what what you did basically? How you made um, this possible to pass this exam in your first attempt? Actually, sir, uh, I was gone through all the lectures, recorded videos, and uh, the materials which one provided from the academically it helped me a lot. And the moreover, what I did, uh, then I wrote it top of the handouts. Actually, I'm working, you know. Here in UAE, you have to work nine to 10 hours. It's pretty hard. We can't able to make it own notes. And uh, I'm not that much, uh, you know, a hard worker. So a bit lazy I was uh, because along with my family, I couldn't able to give much time uh, for the preparation of notes. So I just mark it down any uh, few important points, which was not covered in the handouts. Then on the top of the handouts, I used to write. So that only, and uh, I repeated times I used to watch the lectures, uh, uh, recorded videos, and sometimes I, I was not uh, able to attend the live lectures, then the recorded videos was helping me a lot. Oh. And around uh, two to three hours I used to study, and moreover, uh, then uh, whenever the exam uh, coming near, then I took one month leave, then I given full time, around 10 hours I used to study, but it's not that much important. It's enough. If you study two to three hours per day, it's very easy to clear caps. Okay. So if you are taking the beginnings, so if you are studying three hours per day, uh, it can be done. But at the end, if you want, if you have more hours, you can study like Sudhakar also did, you know, uh, but it's very hard. He's saying, right, because, you know, you need to work for 10 hours. Then, you know, you'd come back to your home and you have your family, kids. It's very difficult. It's not very easy task, but it's still he managed and passed this exam in first attempt. So, so do you think this exam is very tough or easier or mediocre? What do you think? Because if, if, if we compare like from India, like we have a GPAT exam, how can you can read it? Or maybe you also give this a DHA exam also you pass, you know? Because can you, yes. can you please compare a little bit, you know, uh, what about your own experience? Uh, yeah, obviously it's a similarity, but CAPS is more, uh, you know, uh, pretty much harder compared to the GPAT, yeah. but you can correlate it. You can correlate it. It's similar to it, but to compared to the therapeutic spot, uh, so it is like a higher level. It's yeah. uh, one of the top most uh, exam in the world. I can I can say. But but you know it's possible everyone can pass. Do you think if someone given like three four hour per day for three four months? Yes, sir. Exactly. If they can able to join with academically and uh, follow the lectures. And uh, the moreover, I have seen many academies and uh, this is the best I found it. And none of the friends uh, referred to me. Actually, I was followed Dr. Ahmed sir from past two years in YouTube. Then I joined it. Okay. And this Thank is the best so one. Much, 
अच्छा सुधा कर आई मीन वी हैव सम मॉक टेस्ट एज वेल यू नो तो हाउ मच परसेंटेज यू गॉट इन योर एग्जाम फ्रॉम दिस मॉक टेस्ट इज देयर एनी लाइक इफ यू कैन गिव सम रफ आईडिया इट्स 85 टू 90 परसेंटेज द मॉक टेस्ट व्हिच वन आई अराउंड 12 मॉक टेस्ट फ्रॉम दैट 85 टू 90 परसेंटेज आई गॉट इट एंड अराउंड 10 टू 15 परसेंट आर कॉन्सेप्ट बेस्ड अराउंड इन नो पेपर टू it is a very you know therapeutic part so you have to think a lot but uh, uh, this mock tests are really help me a lot so basically we what we do uh, our lecturers take a live sessions so you can attend live session but if you are unable to attend because if your time zone different or you are working so you can see a recorded session so we basically take live session we record that session so you can see later on as many time you want and we also provide the study material means the handout so you can print out that handout you can make your own notes as to the current instructor give another thing we have a 12 mock we have to take uh, you know so most of the time 80 to 90 to up to 95% question they are coming from that mock test what we have so the passing of the caps exam is very very easy anyone can pass if you give but we believe basically on our lecture our content if you follow them definitely you can pass because uh, sometimes they may ask the question from like a conceptual base it is not from the mock maybe you know then still you must able to pass the exam if you follow academically uh, a lecture and materials you know? that's why you know arif sir is here last 10 years you know so we did a lot of research to make our content our content basically to help to pass the exam we are not here to uh, we are not going to teach you pharmacy you already have pharmacist basically whether you did b pharm m pharm pharm d you know so we focus only those important uh, topics uh, to cover the exam to pass the caps exam so you can easily you can migrate to australia okay so so that uh, at the end uh, if you can give me what is the scenario currently ongoing in dubai like uh, uh, people are getting a job easily or how much salaries are getting in dubai uh, what is the scenario ongoing uh, in dubai uh, in your opinion as you are in dubai uh, yes sir uh, as if uh, freshers they used to get in indian currency we can say 80000 rupees okay uh, or like uh, it's compared to or different uh, organizations they used to offer 60000 70000 80000 it's a differ and uh, moreover it's uh, dubai is a small city it's it's a small state and uh, already pharmacist jobs are saturated but uh, there are openings we can't able to say it's completely uh, not available but there are openings uh, recently in uh, my organization also they are, they are opening every month different pharmacies so for the newcomers it's a best opportunity uh, to if anyone want to you know give their examination and it's very easy to clear yes basically guys if you are in india and you are depressing that you are not getting job and you know and uh, very low salary so please even you can go dubai as well 80000 7000 also is not a, i'm not saying very very high salary but it's still reasonable is a good salary at least 30 40000 50000 you can save if you are a single you are living uh, in this uh, in dubai but please don't be in your home stay in in india please do something go dubai australia us canada wherever you want to go i'm not saying you just must join academically wherever you can you know please in life we want to do something so you have to take some risk no risk no gain so please take some risk and and pursue your dream whether wherever you want to go uh, is up to you also that you want to say at the end those are watching to us and who are thinking that the cat exam is very tough we cannot pass and uh, some of them are saying that you know uh, once we pass there is no visa this and a lot of stories basically uh, basically can this like a misconception people have but our all student got the visa basically in our last batch basically november batch so sudhakar just passed last week now he has to pass the english test then he has to apply you know so people are getting visa so that's not a, a complete thing so at the end what you want to say to the those uh, are watching to us uh, so before started caps i thought it's a very hard but the days are coming then when i given my exam then i thought oh this is very simple don't be stressed that much and uh, be calm that's it and for visas also we have to give our try and everything will be possible there is nothing impossible in the world 
so be calm give your try and uh, in india i know the pharmacist situation so if you are a pharmacist you if you have a dream then do your best the golden days are very near yes please do something for yourself you know ghar mein mat baithe raho ke bhaiya bahut bura haal hai pharmacy mein job nahi hai this is a bad course why i have joined this course you have to also do something lot of opportunities in abroad we are not saying to come australia or canada or wherever you want there are lot of opportunities so please do something you know you start basically you take some steps you know aapko chote chote steps mein apni journey ko divide kar lo where we want to go for example if you want to go to australia academically here to help you to complete your a to z process earlier there was no one is there you know even myself i came here it it took me around 10 years you know i thought you know if i someone that told me that after my b4 i i graduated in 2010 someone told me i straight away i can come at that time in australia you know because i, I don't know so many basically there's lack of the awareness among indian pharmacists that's why we are here making the videos so please like and subscribe our videos so i can make more videos last one more thing i will uh, strongly recommend academically team academically the uh, pharmacists who want to write exam for caps or any more over any exams and they will guide you correctly compared to the other one because uh for 10 years last 10 years i was searching for like a academy but i didn't get it so i was planned before to go to uk so that was postponed and finally i got uh, academically uh, through youtube's actually no no none of the friends are referred to me and i got my own uh, search then finally it's a right pathway for everyone pharmacists please uh, join academically and uh, do your best that's it uh, thank you so much sir bye thank you sir bye